Hi friends, in this video we will see how to create a component, so custom component, so our own component we will create and we will use that component in this project. Okay, so up to now we have seen about the project structure and all those things, right? Now we will create our own component. How we can create the our own component? So first is first what we can what we can do is so I will close these all things. So my ng service is running. So you can see my ng service is running here down. Okay, fine. And now so this is the app folder. Okay, this is the app folder. This is where all our components will be here. Now what I will try to do is I will create a folder with name user. Okay, so I am creating a user component. So I am trying to create user. So here I will create a new file, nothing but user.component.ts. So this is the ts file. And for this component, every time for the component, you will be having one HTML file and also one TS file. So let me create the HTML file also. So this is the front end part. So this is the HTML. I have created one user.component.html and user.component.ts. Let's write the logic before going to the HTML. Or otherwise, we will write the HTML H2. It's a user component. Okay. So I have written the HTML. Let's go here. So this ts file, so as we know the TypeScript, it's just a class only. So component is nothing but it's just a class. So we can write export. So we need to export the class to the outside. So for that reason, we need to add the export. Export class, what I can do is, so what I can do is, so I need to write the name of the component. So usually what we will be writing is user component. So user component is nothing but, so the name what we have given user and the component. Okay. Now, this is the user component. So first is first, we will write like this. So this is the empty class we have created. Now in order to convert this class into a component, we need to add a special decorator. Okay, we need to add a decorators. So if you want to know more about the decorators, I already covered a course, full course about all the types of decorators that supports in the TypeScript. I have written the decorators. And also we have seen how we can create our own custom component decorator also in the TypeScript course. So if you want, you can go to the TypeScript course and you can see. And here I want, if I want to convert this class into a, a into a component, I need to add at the rate component decorator. Okay. So you will be having brackets like this. So here you will be writing only component and it will take object. Okay. It, it will take object. So now you will get an error here. So if you mouse if you hover here, you'll be able to see that cannot find name component. So this component, we need to import this component from the package. So let, let's import that component from. So where we can import this one? So this one, we will import this one from the angular slash core. So this is the package that uh, that, that it ships automatically from the angular. The add rate, this component is present inside the angular slash core. So now I can write the component. Okay, so this is the component. So we have imported from the component. Now, what I will try to do is I will try to write inside this one. So the component object, what is the object that component takes is first one is the selector. Selector means with which name I need to call this component. So if I want to call this component from outside, by which name I need to call this component. So that selector will be always, remember that one, will be always unique. It will be always unique throughout this project. So it should be something like unique ID. Okay. I can tell that it has app icon user. This is the selector. And another one, what I need to, what I need to write is template URL. So this is the template URL. So template URL. So what is this template URL is? What is the template? What is the HTML I want to render? So if anybody calls this component by using that app icon user, what I need to render? So I need to render is the HTML, what it is present in the user.component.html. Okay. Normally we can have whatever the file name we can, uh, we can write it, whatever the file name we can create. But here in order to have a, both of them combinedly, in order to know that one. So we are creating with the same name. So now here we need to give the relative path. So dot slash user dot component dot html okay that's it so we have given the component name selector so with which the name i need to call this component and also the template so uh, how i need to call the, uh, what i need to render if I, if anybody calls this component 
okay so first task is pre ki completed that means we have created a component now what i what we need to do is we need to register this component that means we need to tell to the angular somehow that oh, okay i have created this component please register this component so that in this project anybody calls this component you should be aware of that one to know that to render this component okay so now where we can register this component so that is nothing but where we can call it as app.module.ts okay this is the entry module so app.module.ts it the project will contain only one app.module.ts okay every component or anything when you are going to mention so it should come under this it should be declared under this app.module.ts now here you need to tell that i have created a new component and you need to give that new component so where we need to give this one so this is also if you observe this is also a class only simple class only you see here export class app module but if we are calling this one as a module why because it is wrapped with a special decorator that is ng module so ng module is a special decorator okay so that's that is the reason it is converted into the app dot module here we have used at grid component so for this reason it is converted into the component okay now here whenever you have you whenever you created a component okay whenever you create a component you need to declare it you need to register it in the place of declarations okay you need to declare it in the place of declaration so here i can give user component so i can write it user component okay so here we are getting an error here so it is telling that cannot find the pro cannot find the user component it is telling so how we can do it? so now we need to import it here it is telling that i cannot find i am unable to find the user component so what i can do is import from so i need to import it from where i need to import it slash user slash user dot component so this is how we can import this one so here i need to write the class name user component so we are so whatever the name we have given it here we need to import it here we have to give it the name here now i can use this user component now it has been compiled so if you see here it is compiling it has successfully compiled okay now we we have created a new component and also we have registered the component now we need to use this component where i can use this component is we need to use this in the app we will use this here in the app component or html remember that app component is the root component okay whatever the components you create will come will go through this app component only okay so now here i can write using app hyphen user if i write here app hyphen user i will give some spaces here so now i have mentioned here app hyphen user now it is compiling so uh, now if i try to execute the output here i am able to see that user component has been rendered in the place of here in the output okay now we have created a first component and we have successfully rendered that used that component to render in the output so this is how we can create a new component there are also other easy ways also to create a new component but in order to know the basics so each step by step i created a component using the you know, by creating file step by step so what we have done here we have created a folder and here we have used uh, we have created one logic file user component.ts and user component.html we have created and in the component.ts we have we have converted into the component by using a thread component direct uh, decorator and here we have used selector to call this one so how to call this component with the other files and the template url so the template page which which, which is used to render whenever whoever call this component and also we need, second second step is we need to register this component in the declarations so all the components whatever you have created you need to add it in the declarations and again you need to import that component here to get an area any error and now you need you can use this component after registering wherever you want in the component so now right now we have only one component app component so we will use directly in this app component here app hyphen user you can use this one okay so this is how we can create a component and we can render the component like this in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you